SBU, which stands for short but useful. This episode of SBU is sponsored by LCSC.com. In the video, I will let you know in detail about the company and their products. So let's start with the video. Now if you ever use any IoT product like smart speaker or smart printer or any IoT product, you must have noticed that in all the IoT products, the Wi-Fi credentials are not hard coded in the hardware. Rather, the user is provided the freedom to enter their own Wi-Fi credentials according to the router. But in our ESP266 related projects, we need to enter the Wi-Fi credentials in the code itself and hence next time if we need to change the Wi-Fi credentials, we need to take out our ESP8266 from the project, change the Wi-Fi credentials in the code, upload the code again and put back ESP into, into the project. But in this video, I will let you know one technique using which you can wirelessly enter the Wi-Fi credentials into the ESP8266 board. No, it's not ESP8266 smart config, it's rather more advanced than that particular technique because in this particular technique, you don't require any application and the most important thing, the Wi-Fi credentials which you are entering will be stored into the EEP room of ESP. Hence, next time if you reset the board, it will fetch the credentials from the EPRO and get connected to the same Wi-Fi router again. So let's get started with this particular technique. So this is the code for this particular technique of entering the Wi-Fi credentials wirelessly. You can just copy and paste this code into your existing projects with a little modification and your ESP will uh, be ready for getting the Wi-Fi credentials over the air. So uh, in this particular code, now I will explain this code in a bit uh, brief. So first of all, it will try to disconnect from the Wi-Fi credentials if it is previously connected to any of the uh, Wi-Fi router. After that, it will try to read the EP ROM. If in case there is already Wi-Fi credentials in the EP ROM, it will first fetch that data and try to connect to that particular router. And in case if it's not able to connect to that particular router, what it will do, it will create its own hotspot and we need to connect our device, our mobile phone to this particular ESP. And all the IoT products do like this only. Initially, they act as a hotspot and we need to connect our mobile phone to that particular IoT product, okay? So it will act as a hotspot and it will be waiting for the client, okay? It will be waiting for the client to enter the credentials. So what we'll do, we will connect our phone to this ESP and on our phone, if you open the web browser and go to the IP address which is 192.168.4.1, we'll get a web page in which we need to enter the Wi-Fi credentials. We will see this in action after going through all the code and uh, okay, so it will be uh, waiting for the Wi-Fi credentials to be entered and as soon as the Wi-Fi credentials is entered to this ESP, first of all, it will be storing that all Wi-Fi credentials into the EEP room after that it will try to connect to that particular hotspot and as soon as it gets connected to the Wi-Fi router you can paste your particular code here in the loop. In my case I have just put an LED blink code for the demo purpose. So this was the code about uh, entering your own Wi-Fi credentials to the ESP over the air and one more thing which I need to tell is ESP when acting as a hotspot need to have its own credentials and, and that credentials are defined here in the function called wifi.softap. So here you need to provide its SSID name and here you can provide the password. I haven't provided any password because I want to make it as an open network. Okay, so you can put it as an open network by not providing anything in the password section. So uh, with this particular Wi-Fi credentials, our, our ESP8266 will be acting as a hotspot. So this was the code about this particular technique. Now let's just select the right board and code and click on this upload button. So till the code gets uploaded, let's talk about our sponsors. So LCSC is a website from which you can purchase the electronic components related to your projects. Maybe it's simple terminal connector, maybe it's resistor, diode or even Wi-Fi module. You can get all the components on their website. So just go to lcsc.com, put your components into the cart and place your order. You'll be receiving the components well packed straight from China. So try out LCSC for your computer related purchases. So here the code is successfully uploaded. Let's open the serial monitor and press this reset button. Okay, so as you can see, it first tried to read the EEPROM and it received some garbage value because there was nothing inside the EEPROM right now. And hence it was not able to uh, connect to that particular Wi-Fi network and hence it created its own hotspot. So what I will do, I will uh, take out my smartphone and try to connect to this particular hotspot created by ESP8266. 
So as you can see in my Wi-Fi, I'm already connected to Techie SMS. Now I will go to my Google Chrome and open this uh, IP address called 192.168.4.1. So after opening this particular IP address, as you can see, there are the name of the Wi-Fi networks available within this particular range. And then we need to enter a required SID name and password here in this particular blocks. So I will enter the credentials of my GeoFi. So it is SMS underscore GeoFi and I will write the password for that. Uh, be careful with the, what we can say, upper and lower cases. Okay, so after uh, entering the Wi-Fi credentials, I will click on the submit button. Okay, so the Wi-Fi credentials are received and as you can see, uh, it first stored the Wi-Fi credentials inside the EEP room and it got reset automatically and then it uh, tried to connect to that particular SID name and password which is my GeoFi and it got successfully connected and as you can see, the LED is blinking on this particular uh, ESP8266 device. I don't know if we are able to see it, but it's blinking on this particular ESP. So our device got successfully connected to that router whose credentials were not at all mentioned in the code. So yeah, so if I reset this particular board as you will be able to see that it is, you know, reconnecting to that same particular Wi-Fi network by reading out the credentials from EEP ROM. So it is very easy and very convenient to use this particular method for your ESP related projects or maybe products. So yeah, this was my short but useful trick related to ESP8266. Do let me know how you find this trick in the comment section below. And uh, give a like button if you love this kind of video. Subscribe my channel if you haven't to see more such SBUs. And other than this SBU, I also used to make some projects related to electronics, IoT automation, some getting started videos related to any components or sensors, some uh, explained videos regarding any technology, and also the talking tech videos on my channel so, so there are a variety of videos which i used to upload on my channel so make sure you subscribe to the channel to don't miss any of the video so yeah just wait for my next video and then explore learn share with me techie sms